this film I will show you how the River Thames in England represents and substitutes the River Nile of ancient Egypt for the British ruling class, the aristocracy, and their wind sars. A sar means a king in Demotic. See the Pharaoh show for that. Well, this is called the Temple of Philae and it reminds you of the MI6 building at the River Nile in London, doesn't it? In Oxford, they even call the Thames River Isis or the Isis, where even the second crew of the famous Oxford row rowing crew is called Isis, like a bunch of sissies who couldn't make it to the Premier Rowing League against their competitors from the River Cam. Here an old postcard of the uh, River Isis. A lot of things going on, eh? And apparently they've been doing some rituals there, even this year, 2013, in the Themesis River, and which is not Celtic or Latin origin, but it is like the picture shows it here. It is Isis. And in London, at the banks of River Isis, stands Cleopatra's needle together with a sphinx on each side as an obelisk has to stand near the water for representing the goddess Isis and the obelisk stands for Osiris and his chopped off male organ as in a circumcision really. Then next to it is the military intelligence section 5 with this uh, Templars logo on their rear entrance for Morsi Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. So this is in Thorny Street, I think number seven it was. Then on the other side of the dip is this funny building of Mill Intel Section 6, who call themselves SIS, S-I-S, as in SIS, to, or hey SIS, how are the Sisters of Isis doing? adding up into Isis Secret Intelligence Service, giving Isis at the River Isis. The whole look of the building gives a very subtle message, which even settles in the unconscious of the non-initiated. I'll tell you what it represents, it's a sphinx. And uh, remember how the lion is a symbol of the royal pharaonic dignity, which can be found on many a coat of arms of the pharisocracy, and a lion is not a domestic animal, indicating foreign powers ruling over us, as it is the case with all those secret services and secret lodges, who never f even fought the KGB, but were merely invented to fight and spy their own peoples, and all over the world suddenly all changed their names and appearances in a well-conceived euphemistic PSYOP program. KGB had changed its name, MI6 is another name, in France the same thing going on, and even James Bond became Jason Bourne, with keeping the first two letters J and Bo, because they stand for the two obelisks, Yashin and Boas. And even in the MI6 logo, there's a lion and symbol of the royal, fair aristocratic dignity having an alliance through the Vesica Pikes of the tails forming the oval or the womb of Isis. See the film Fair Aristocracy for more. So this is the Vesica Pikes. It's a Freemason symbol and means the alliance. So this is the alliance between the unicorn for a special reason, which I'm going to tell you why, and the lion, which is a symbol of the fair aristocratic and um, a royal dignity. So we can find this symbol in Audi cars, uh, the Olympic Games, uh, the um, Gucci, Mastercard, uh, Swiss Cope supermarkets. It's everywhere. And here you can see the unicorn on the thing here. And here's the crown with the Templar's cross, Fleur de Lis, um, here's an apple or something. So this is the uh, Freemason pharaonic symbol of the Vesica Pytus. So this is a, uh, a covenant between the symbol of the unicorn and the symbol of the lion. I'm going to explain that to you.
So this is the coat of arms of the British royal aristocracy, the monarchy, and there are thousands of uh, different, uh, slightly different coat of arms, but they all have the unicorn and the lion. So this lion has an alliance with the unicorn, where the corn symbolizes an obelisk at a man's head, where his brain should be. And that's why the pale horse is attached with a chain, just as Fenris is attached next to Yggdrasil. So who's riding the pale horse then? Well, Isis, the whore of Babylon, is riding the pale horse. The Sphinx never represented a man. And it subtly shows in the MI6 building at the river Isis. And Isis doesn't want the pale horse with his tremendous physical powers to break free from its chain through, for example, the wave of info warriors flooding our minds at the very place where only a phallus, an instrument of satisf satisfaction for his mistress through total devotion should be like through the unicorn in his mind leading his thoughts by desire for his queen man has become has an obedient servant and soldier for isis and the pale horse is also the alliance between the white race and the pharaohs whom they call the haunabu and with whom they mixed there are no unicorns silly and there never will be such a thing as a unicorn it means a unification corn in a union of pure stupid sheep or innocence being embraced by the Nile goddess as the Vesica Pytus clearly indicates. So here's the head of the Sphinx with eyes as her crown with the sun rays as on the Statue of Liberty. Next to the head we can see the lion's manes as the sphinx on in many a pharaoh's statue and there's definitely the temple of Philae in it. Oh, and this is what you really see when you look at the SIS uh, MI6 uh, building and it goes into your subconscious and it's telling you the pharaohs are ruling, the Freemasons, oh that's them alright. And on the very top of the SIS building, there's this very distinctive look of the Temple of Philae in ancient Egypt. This was, this picture was taken before it was dried. So here's the Temple of Philae on top of the SIS building in London. And there are 13 windows underneath representing Osiris, his body chopped into 13 parts and scattered all over the River Nile or the River Isis, as, as can be seen here. This weird sort of blue is called Lapis Lazuli, which is one of the colors of the pharaonic royal dignity. And the other color is supposed to be golden, gold. As, as you can see on the mask of uh, Tutankhamun, King Tut, it's gold and blue. The colors of the royal dignity of the pharaohs. And we can see the, uh, on their logo the, um, the royal coat of arms. On their logo, can't we now? And sometimes when the sun is shining on it in a special way or when the lights are on it, it really does look gold and blue. So the whole thing gets a very pharaonic. So gold and lapis lazuli blue as on the SIS building and uh, the triangle behind its head. Um, oh, it's all, all there. I'm very confident that in due time, when they got really all the power over us, they will put the snake on top of it. You'll see it coming. So these two medieval Outlook posts, they represent the uh, the paws of the Sphinx. Here's even the leg of the Sphinx and the paws. It's all very subtle, it's unconsciously. And uh, well, here's the head, here are the paws. You see what I mean? Very, very subtle. They know it. See, here are the two Outlook posts here. Here's the head with this form here. And they even put this thing here 
on the SIS building. Go and have a look, and this here as well, and this here. You find this as well. Go and have a look. This is what it is. Sphinx. But the Sphinx never was a man. It's Isis. The whore of Babylon. Riding the pale horse. And this here, like this, are the wings of Ma'at, where the word magistrate is coming from. And we found her on many a car. She's the goddess of justice. Well, justice for whom? Like I show it on a mini car. Well, there are the wings. Uh, Chrysler has a tour, I think, and Aston Martin has it, and a lot of other cars. Nazis had it, and well, there you go. The fair aristocracy are here all right, and they never left. And here they are, at the banks of River Isis, with all their hidden symbols of power. And all the American presidents are descendants of the royal bloodline of the British fair aristocracy. So the rider on a white horse can also be the rider on the white house. If you interchange the R by a U, or in cyber language, are you the rider of the White House, Mr. Akhenaton President? Yes, you will obey us. You will be very surprised how many ISIS related security companies and institutes there are in the internet, especially in Switzerland, but this one is in Zurich. But they also have the ISIS to control the Swiss citizens, as I already showed it to you. It's all ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. I, I, I can't even show it all to you. It's so much. So ISIS, just as on the CIS building of the MI6. It's all ISIS, pharaohs, that's what it is. And on the, the second one, there's the official of government ISIS. Um, they got all, all the information on Swiss citizens, it's also called ISIS. ISIS Datenbank. Nice. Yeah, this is part of the Swiss, um, it's like the Swiss MI6 or part of it. It's also called ISIS, just like in London, it's everywhere. To spy on the foreigners here in Switzerland, they call it Tsar, like in a sarcophagus. And Tsar is the pharaonic demotic word for a king. Um, this is what they do in Switzerland. It's all the same pharaonic stuff here. Isis, Tsar. So the spy system concerning the Swiss population, it's called Isis, the Informatisierte Staatsschutzinformationssystem. Yeah, here we can see it's of the, the, the Swiss Templars logo on it. There you go. This is the ISIS, just like the MI6 in London, the CIS. The ISIS security information system or whatever it is. It's all. And then there is the uh, SIS uh, for the European uh, database for all the, uh, the Europeans in it. it. Just SIS, just like the thing in London. It's all the same thing. It's all ISIS, it's all the pharaohs, and they're all lying. Don't believe them anymore. It's all gonna have one name now. Here, listen, Wikipedia. There are hundreds of ISIS pages on the internet. 